playing in minor and music theory really helped me understand playing in minor, how to get the most out of playing in minor. Uh, I started off playing pentatonic scales and I played those over rock songs. Right. Um, and they just worked. And basically that's what I was told. play this scale. It was the number one pattern, the box pattern, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, and find out what key you're in. If I was in D, I would slide that up to the 10th fret and I'm playing over these rock songs and it sounded great. But as I got a little bit farther on, I realized that wasn't everything. There's some more sounds that I can't get. And you understanding what pentatonic scales are and where they come from. The minor pentatonic scale is a stripped down full minor scale. It's missing two notes. It's a five note scale not a seven note scale. At that point, I said, whoa, okay, I can start to put in the rest of the notes. Where I was playing that minor pentatonic scale, I could start to put in the full natural minor scale in that place. And I learned where in the pattern that I was learning, that I had learned where I could put those extra notes in. And that opened everything up. So all of a sudden I'm getting like Santana sounds. I may be able to do my shred type stuff. And I thought that was awesome until I went to the blues <laughs> and I, I went to use my minor pentatonic scale, which worked over the blues. That was the sound of the blues. But when I tried to do that full, the natural minor scale over top of the blues, it didn't sound very good. And I realized, oh, OK, this is different. Uh, in the rock songs, the one chord turned out to be a minor chord. I was playing a minor pentatonic scale over a minor chord. But in the blues, I wasn't playing a minor chord. I was playing a dom over that. Remember that seventh chord we talked about, dominant seventh chord. That had a major third in the chord. So let's do D here. I'm going to play a blues song in D. This is the first chord I'm going to use, dominant seven. It has a major third in it. And when I play over that chord, my scale has a minor third in it. So the chord's got this, I'm playing this. That is an outside sound. That's a tension scale, right? So playing over blues, I was using the minor pentatonic scale in a whole different way. I was using it to get a tense sound, a cooler sound, and it wouldn't fit with the full minor scale over that. Didn't sound great. I learned to found that the mixolydian scale matched the, the chord perfectly, but it just wasn't cool. It needed that rub of the minor third. So music theory, theory helped me completely classify that. And when I, once I understood that these this was an outside thing, everything started to fall into place. I added the natural minor uh, notes in rock, and in blues, I didn't, and I would add in more major type sounds in blues with that minor pentatonic, and it sounded fantastic. Um, how about the harmonic minor scale? I learned about the harmonic minor scale first from Ingve Malmsteen, who was a neoclassical metal, is a neoclassical metal style guitar player. So he was playing very fast metal that had a very classical background to it. At the same time, I was listening to him and I'm trying to figure out why my scale patterns didn't quite sound right when I was trying to play fast like he did. Um, I was taking a music theory class in high school and I found out that all of the, the cool stuff that he was playing was based around a scale called the harmonic minor scale. And basically what that is, is a natural minor scale, but you take the seventh degree and raise it one. So in D, there's my natural. What he was playing was one, two, three, four, five, six. He raised, instead of playing this note, he raised it. They hear. What does that sound want to do? It wants to go up. It wants to resolve to the strongest note. Very different sound. 
Um, I couldn't figure that out. I didn't know how to use that. Now, I use the harmonic minor scale in a lot of different ways now. In, a, in minor to outline different chords, and I'll use that over a five chord in, in a minor scale. Some, sometimes in minor songs, they like to have the five chord be uh, a dominant seventh, and it fits over that perfectly. So music theory helped me figure that out too. How about Dorian? Big Almond Brothers fan. I was a big Almond Brothers fan for years. And they would have these climbing lines. And it was not the same as my natural minor scale. I tried to play it in natural minor. It didn't sound sweet like theirs did. Well, I found out the Dorian mode is just a natural minor scale. Right? One, two, three, four, five. With a raised sixth. Well, normally natural minor would have a flat sixth. Right there, that sound I couldn't get. If it wasn't for music theory, I wouldn't have been able to figure that out and get that cool sound that the Allman Brothers had. Same thing with Phrygian. You'd hear these people playing Spanish. <laughs> was a minor type sound but the very first note would go to a half step up for the second note and have a minor third in it and you'd hear kind of the Spanish type sound which was like a major triad and slide it up a little bit things didn't quite work out for that I didn't understand what that scale was and why it was being played over that come to find out it's a mode of the major scale it's called phrygian and it starts off it's a minor natural minor scale but the second degree is lowered one and it gives it a whole different sound i found through music theory that i can manipulate the notes in my major scale to get all sorts of different sounds hey thanks for watching i've got something for you it's my free practice routine mini course. It's called Get Moving Guitar, and you can get it by clicking the link below in the description. If you would like to support the podcast and get more of this content that's actually designed to help you become the guitarist that you always wanted to be, sign up for my VIP supporter program for as little as $3 a month. And you get access to my private VIP podcast, and I will see you soon in the next video.